Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 121, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I am your host, Anton, and we have with us a hero of the In Some Cinematic Universe, Mishka. Welcome. Not Hayden, as we promote it all over social media, so <laughs> sorry in advance, but here I am, last minute attendee joinee of the show. So, well, I appreciate you joining me. Um, Hayden is off in the Netherlands of, well, I guess the Netherlands is a country in and of itself, but of <laughs> Finland, uh, on the countryside of Finland. Um, I was so just there, jealous. Yeah, I was just there last week and had a, an amazing time. I didn't, never really expected to be um, hiking way up in Lapland, but I had a, an amazing time. And I heard you saw puppies, husky puppies. I okay, took husky puppies for a walk. It was great. Um, but people... Hey, um, really uh, have come for our ever so interesting five minute tip today. Um, and our tip today, I think is, uh, uh, it's a conversation and it's something that, that drives me nuts. Um, we had an episode 101 about gripes about Apex. This doesn't really fall quite into that category, but what drives me nuts is my own inability to remember where all of the vast number of utilities within Apex are. Um, I'll go ahead and... Uh, and while, some... while you're doing that, I see we've got Matt, who's joined the live stream. He happened to be at K-Scope. I was presenting all about Apex metadata, and he'll remember one of the things I mentioned there was that I can never seem to remember where in the menus I'm going to find the Oracle Apex views. So I, ah. I join you with the, I don't know if that's yeah. an Apex ripe as much as a, I can't remember where it, where the stuff is. So yeah. we're gonna, you're gonna share with the audience how you can get to them or at least. Yes, and, I, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna thank you, Rich, for the correct, the correction. Hinterlands is what I, the word I wanted. Yes, my <laughs> English as my first language isn't always uh, successful. Um, so, <laughs> um, and uh, so, um, yeah, so if we share my screen, um, I'll kick off our little five minute uh, tip here and with the clock going. I don't know how to share my screen. At this how point. is it I not working? Yeah, oh, there we is. go. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I'm glad somebody was able to. Um, so, um, so here's the thing there's workspace utilities under here. You've got workspace utilities here as well that shows you some. You've got SQL workshop utilities that show you a bunch of things. Um, I'm going to start with workspace utilities. So, one might think that when you click here, you would see the available workspace utilities. There's only four here. SQL, SQL Workshop has a whole They do a better bunch. job, yeah. Yeah, but when you come in here and say all workspace utilities, you actually have several more. It, they could fit. <laughs> they could. Add, they They're could, add they that could. to episode 101, your, your grace. Right. They could definitely fit. Right. Um, um, but, but there are some great utilities here, but this is the thing. I know that there's a utility to look at all of the apex, the font apex icons, but where is it? It's not here. Where, where my font? I, I, I know it's somewhere. Well, there's this other place that's kind of very, if you go into an application and you click utilities, this is another place that there are utilities. These utilities have some of the same ones. If I click on, for example, Apex Views, that actually the breadcrumb shows it's under workspace utilities. Mm. But if I hit the back button because I can't use my breadcrumb and I go to debug messages, debug messages is actually under this application. So when I do this, I only see the debug messages for the application I'm in. A little bit weird because if I go over here and I go to monitor activity, I can see error messages for every application. So a little bit, a little bit goofy on these things. Um, and, and back to your font apex icons, I would definitely expect those to be under right. workspace utilities, right? But they're, Rather they're, than right. specifically to all right, right, right. So, so that is that is essentially the tip, right? You have to sometimes hunt around, but there there is a way that you can often find them yeah. and this is what you showed me today mishka i couldn't believe it. Search. search search so right. and yeah there you go. try oh, my favorite icons. font apex or oracle apex views so yeah, yeah forget views. it forget clicking around digging around trying to remember just it, it works really really well for right. yes. for most of these utilities yeah right 
But what I will say is if you have to go two levels deep, so um, views worked, icons worked great, right? Super. What if I want to look at my page locks? Ah, it's not working. Well, page locks actually turns out it's in here under cross page utilities. So if I come over here, I can get to locks. Um, so, so it's not a perfect solution. The search doesn't always get you everything. Um, but I guess if you remember that you sometimes have to go into the application and then into utilities, and sometimes you can go to it this way. And of course, sometimes they're over here. At least, you know, most of the time you'll find them with search. So I would yes. say definitely that. Start um, with search. Yeah. Anton, you've still got, I can see your timer. You've got a minute 30 left. I think it's worth, because you just kind of glossed over, we did workspace utility workspace utilities, application utilities, but those page specific utilities, I can't tell you the number of times I've been in, in code reviews or working with people who don't know that these are there and available. And there's some really useful utilities in there. There are. Multiple, um, multiple pages, you know, don't go in there into individual pages, clicking delete, you can delete multiple. You mentioned the locks, that's super useful. Um, the region utility, it's, it's definitely worth for those of you that are watching that haven't explored them. There is some gold, as you can see, hidden down deep in the menu, but those page specific utilities, uh, if we haven't covered them in an instant tip, we probably, you know, they, they warrant a little bit of time. There's some, there's some great stuff in there. Yeah. And they come and go based upon the version of Apex you're in. Some sure. Apex versions actually have more than the current version. Um, but but I suspect some of them will come back uh, over time as well. Um, but uh, with 26 seconds left um, in it, that's, that is today's tip. Um, Utilities everywhere? Everywhere, basically. all over the place. Um, but we do have a couple of other little things. So if you just came in for five minutes, beat it now. But uh, Mishka, what do you have uh, for us? Uh, uh, wait, we didn't do the... Oh, oh right, we got to do all the things. Right <laughs> All right. No, I don't. I don't have much. Um, just sort of a collection of randomness. I'm going to say. First of all, um, Anton, you know that while well, Rich is watching, I want to ah. give a huge hats off to Rich. Rich was named um, top. He got the top speaker award for the Apex track at K Scope. So and it probably goes without, without saying that's Rich Soul. <laughs> Rich Soul, yes, uh, the one and only. He won that award, and I hear also apparently Best Hair of K-Scope Award. Oh, I think it's, I was right there when he got the Best Hair Award. I was right there. It was so I don't really know good. which which one he's he's prouder uh, of, but the perpetually fantastic Rich um, will actually be doing a replay of his award-winning uh, K-Scope talk right here on uh, our YouTube channel on September 28th at 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll be sharing that on social, but if you don't want to miss it, do all the things like comment, but mainly subscribe. Um, so that it was Apex and Ords for DBAs. And so huge. Uh, <laughs> well, um, so that's number one. Number two, I wanted to share uh, just quickly a reminder, template component um, plugin challenge that's going until the end of October. So encourage everybody in the Apex community to submit uh, their template components. Uh, this is a new feature that was uh, part of Apex 23.1. Uh, Philip Hartenfeller uh, has launched this challenge and there's some great prizes to be had. Um, but of course, the biggest one is just the glory, potential glory of winning this challenge. So definitely uh, suggest you participate in that. Um, what else? Cloud World next week, uh, September. No, not quite next week, week and a half, September 18th. Um, wondering if uh, if anybody in the audience is going to be at Cloud World. Are you going to Cloud World, Anton? I am not. No. no, neither am I. But we've got from our team. We've got Francis, Monty, um, Adrian, and Luke will be at Cloud World. So hit them up, uh, connect with them. They'd love to to chat all things OCI, Cloud, Apex. So at Cloud I have World. A question for you: At Cloud yes. World, will people be able to get any of these? They will, and we've actually got, 
Oh, nice lead in. We didn't even practice that, Anton. Awesome. Apexia cards. So, some of you know we've launched uh, Apexia trading cards at K Scoop. They're really, really, really cool. I want to share my screen again. Hang on a second. Um, these are just a really nice collection of actual physical trading cards, all on the theme of oracle apex so we've got captain component email enchanter lady low code we will have a special edition cloud world card so look for our team and and grab your cards at cloud world but in the meantime if any of you uh, want a pack please feel free to either comment on the video then we have to figure out how to get them to you but the easiest would be to go to our site let me find this here it is over here We've got a URL. There is a little form that you can fill in. Uh, how do you get a pack? And we will be more than happy to send you a pack. They're really, we're very proud of them. They're good fun. Uh, and we'd love to send you a pack. So uh, I, I have to show my favorite part though. Okay, Mishka. go so on. This, yeah, this I'm is, done. Okay, so if we uh, take your screen. So, so I don't know if you can read this. Oh yeah, take your oh, yeah. I don't know if you can read it at the very top oh. <laughs> corner. Here. You'd is love it that. visible? Oh, I don't know if it can connect people. Oh. I, right there. Now you can see it. Age, age six, six plus. plus. So, you know, age six plus, I think it covers most of us. Uh, I think yeah, but members of, of, probably, of but... Uh, the Apex Instant Tips audience that are less than six, sorry, these cards yeah. are not for you, but give it time yeah. and, you know, you'll get there eventually. Um, <laughs> Excellent. So well, there we go. That's that was my collection. I think I've got I've got all of them. Template components, Cloud World. Yep. Cover yeah. it all. And we're still under 12 minutes today. I mean, what, what do people goodies. really want except for lunch? <laughs> so, all right. Um, all right. Well, you have wasted a perfectly good 12 and a half minutes uh, with us today. Uh, go get some lunch. Thanks for having me. Have a great weekend, Thanks. everyone. Thanks, Michelle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.